everything we look at with this virus seems to be a bit scarier than we initially thought. And so while we absolutely hope we don't see widespread local transmission in the continental U.S., we need the states to be ready for that. Yeah, that's a Fox News alert. Health officials sounding the alarm over the Zika virus, now asking Congress for nearly $2 billion to fight it, with, with the worry it will only get worse. So how worried should we all be about this virus? Let's ask our Fox News Medical A team's doctor, Dr. David Good Samadhi. Morning, guys. Good morning, Good morning, Dr. Samadhi. Pretty scary. Well, we reported this beginning of this year. January of this year, we reported one of the first cases of Zika in this country. Over the last two months, now we see about 600 cases in U.S. There's really nothing to panic right now because a lot of times this virus is not lethal and the symptoms are very mild. For pregnant women, obviously, it can cause now premature birth blindness and microcephaly and those are the ones the other issue is that you know we thought maybe we have this in about 12 states mm -hmm. it's spreading in about 30 so the states red states are the states we need to really worry exactly. about exactly puerto rico Florida, is texas california those are hot states okay. especially puerto rico we're seeing doubling in numbers every week so people have to be very careful about this doctor why is it spreading so quickly it took a while even to get to south america why here so quickly well that's one of the big concerns because it took years for it to go from africa to south america 8 years to travel in south america. America now very quickly. Part of it is because we just don't, didn't know enough about this mosquito. We didn't know about this virus. The other thing is that people travel a lot. Now we're finding out that this is not just from mosquito, but also it can be transmitted sexually. And that's very important that if you're a pregnant woman and you have a boyfriend, husband, someone from those areas that have come, mm. make sure you use protections because that can save you from getting, getting this virus. Majority of the time, Peter, this virus is very mild. It just causes fever, maybe some joint pain, etc., and it disappears after a week or so. Mm -hmm. And for people, need, don't need to be worried. But if you're having sexual activities with someone who's pregnant, that's a huge concern, and you, now, people have to be careful. It can be very extreme, though. Some of the babies can be born with smaller heads than normal. Yes, microcephaly is a huge, huge problem. And again, in Puerto Rico, we're seeing like a, a major problem. And that's one of the reasons why um, CDC and the White House is asking Congress for about $1.9 billion. They're actually taking about $500 million from the Ebola dedicated funds mm -hmm. to go after this. The idea is that before we hit summer and before this about 40 million people that are going to travel globally to those areas and bring this to us, we want to stop this immediately. A lot of research has to go this. There's no medication. There's no vaccine. And I really don't think this is going to become a major epidemic, something like Ebola. Yeah. But I think we need to be aware but of when this. When you're pregnant and you, you want to do everything you can to Cover keep that up. baby safe, so just stay, stay put. Don't go to these states where it is a risk. That's the big message. If okay. you're pregnant, don't go to those hot areas Thank you, where Zika is becoming a big problem. Thank you, guys. Doctor, thanks a lot.